getting loot is really damn exciting. <laughs> It's a satisfying feeling. What is this gonna enable me to do? What did I win? What ability? How is this gonna look? I honestly think they should reissue all gear, get rid of sunsetting, and go back to the drawing board. I was in support of sunsetting at the beginning, but said there had to be as much new gear as there was gear leaving. In my opinion, reissuing is not new. Time for a new solution. Gathalion. Eh, I honestly think sunsetting plus reissuing a gear is the final straw for me. Stasis pretty much ruined the game for me, but I haven't cared about gear in Destiny in years at this point. It doesn't seem to be changing anytime soon. Not sure I'll ever be back at this rate. MTash. Thoughts. I feel like sunsetting isn't quite what we hoped for. The reintro of gear to make loot relevant seems off. Regrinding for the same stuff feels artificial. By the time you grind something, it's gone. In the end, we just want exciting new loot. Glad. Loot reissues just don't work. I don't think, even with new perks, the excitement isn't there. Getting weapons back from Destiny 1 is one thing, and even that's debatable. But taking away weapons and giving them back six months to two years later is just not a satisfying pursuit. Sunsetting might work if gear was phased out and enough new gear was phased in. I get the balance slash refreshness benefit of that. But gap filling with reissued phased out gear, when players have god rules sitting in their vault, unable to be infused, breaks the whole concept. Paul Tassi. The idea of chasing old gear for the rest of Destiny is depressing. There's a design philosophy that even if 1% uses a piece of content, the idea that it is available lends to the magic of the game. Reissuing old stuff fixes a resource problem, but creates a player fatigue problem. Destin oh. Legary. <laughs> Do the, uh, the thing. What's going on ladies and gents, boys and girls, guardians of all ages, Joker back again, once again, and what a delightful week. So Bungie's back from their winter break, and in their absence, the community has basically been cannibalizing itself. There seems to be drama every other day. I am shocked, shocked. Well, not that shocked. Many of these issues revolve around people being rightfully upset about PvP. I've talked about this in depth in another video, but the TLDR basically revolves around the fact that Bungie made promises. One of the things we really want to focus on, especially with Season 8 and the start of Shadowkeep, is a renewed focus on PvP. The really important thing for players to know is this is just the beginning. This is us building the foundation of what we're doing with the Crucible going forward. And the PvP community has waited a year for those promises to be even remotely fulfilled, only to have maps and modes stripped away with nothing added in their place, and the introduction of stasis, destroying any semblance of competitive balance. Not that there was ever really much to begin with, but at least there was the illusion of it. Then, there was the sudden realization of just how much loot was leaving Destiny with the second batch of sunsetting. For those of you who do not know, because every video is somebody's first, 20 to 21 weapons will be removed from Destiny with this next iteration of sunsetting. This of course is somewhat hilarious as half of those weapons are reissues and reskins in the first place. So the Destiny community waited with bated breath, hands trembling in anticipation, their knees weak, their arms heavy, something something mom spaghetti for this week's TWAB. Would it save Destiny? Would Bungie not just listen for once, but actually hear what the community has to say? Uh, kinda maybe it's a mixed bag? It starts off setting expectations, quote, So, let's get this party started. We've got four twabs between you and a fresh season of Destiny 2 content. You're hungry for what we've got planned, and we're eager to dish out the goods. First up, we'll be looking at a few changes to vendors, Dreaming City and Moon Rewards, and some sandbox tuning for Hunter Stasis abilities in the Crucible. So these are all good topics to start on. Personally, I think Stasis needs tuning in general, not just for one of the classes, but hey, details. I also find it interesting that Bungie has to revisit both the Dreaming City and Moon Reward ecosystems. Sunsetting, in my opinion and many others, was a bad idea, as Bungie has overplayed their hand and simply doesn't have the resources to keep up with the demand for new content. So sunsetting comes off less like a chance to balance the game or refresh and revitalize the game or allow Bungie to experiment with crazy new weapons and perks. 
and more like a stopgap measure to pad out seasonal content by sunsetting and reissuing weapons and gear that the player already had. This becomes even more egregious when you realize that both Forsaken and Shadowkeep are still for sale, meaning that content people are still actively paying for is useless. But the post continues. Last month, Assistant Game Director Joe Blackburn spoke about some changes we're making to gear in Season 13 in response to some feedback. Today, we're going to briefly chat about some of these changes as they relate to our back catalog of expansions and the reasoning behind them. First, let's review the list of what you'll be seeing starting Season 13. Reissued Dreaming City Reverie Dawn and Moon Dream Bane armor. These will also drop with high stats when earned in the Shattered Throne or Pit of Heresy. The Vinyl Chest and Pit of Heresy will no longer drop a fully masterworked Dream Bane armor piece. Instead, the Dream Bane armor piece that drops will have 7 armor energy and is guaranteed to drop with at least plus 16 in two different stats and higher stats overall. Dream Bane class items will not drop from this chest. Reissued four weapons for Dreaming City with new perk pools, Waking Vigil, Sleepless, Vort Safe, and Retold Tale. Dreaming City weapons that drop in the Shattered Throne dungeon can roll with perks that are unavailable from drops from other reward sources. Reissued four weapons for the Moon with new perk pools. Premonition, Pit of Heresy only, Heretic, Blasphemer, and Apostate. Weapons that drop in Pit of Heresy Dungeon can roll with perks that are unavailable from drops from other reward sources. Expanding Lost Sector Legend and Master Rotations to four Moon Lost Sectors. We're making these changes to help preserve the relevancy of the destinations, specifically some of the pinnacle endgame activities that still exist there. To get more specific around the experience, activities where reissues are acquired will be heavily weighted towards rewarding reissued gear over capped gear, though the exact weight and mechanics may differ. For example, in the Dreaming City, if you have already tamed an infusion capped weapon, it will not drop for you again. So I've said it before and I will say it again here, I am so uninterested in the Destiny loot grind, it's pathetic. And that's because with sunsetting, it's become utterly pointless. I mean, think about it. You spend the better part of a year grinding out a god roll or your best amazing perfect statted armor only to have all that work invalidated at a later date. Only to then have Bungie reintroduce the exact same loot. And let's be real, let's be honest, let's be real honest. Even with access to different perks, the likelihood that the god roll will change is significantly low. And that's because unless Bungie creates a plethora of new perks and all of those perks are better than what's currently in the game, there's only a handful full of perks that are actually worth a shit. So essentially what we've seen pan out with sunsetting as of now is people are losing their weapons, all of that time is completely and utterly invalidated, and then Bungie brings back exactly what was just sunset. Or near enough facsimiles to not matter. Did I ever tell you the definition of insanity? This is a demoralizing waste of players' time. What makes this worse is when not long after the weapons and gear that players have worked for is arbitrarily sunset, Bungie then reissues that same gear and puts it in activities that players have spent years playing over and over and over and over and over again. This isn't some hypothetical menagerie 2.0, where it's something new to do that utilizes a diverse loot pool from all over the game where players can target drops. That while not countering the sheer stupidity of sunsetting gear only to have players regrind that exact same gear, does alleviate the monotony of grinding that new gear by giving the players something new to experience, and a targeted way to re-earn their favorite gear. This isn't that, this isn't anything like that, this is Bungie taking your old gear that they arbitrarily took from you and putting it in old activities that you've likely already played to death in a bid to make them relevant again, because as we all know, it's hard for us to make this much content. It's just hard making content in general. So while I'm not necessarily condemning Bungie for trying to make these old activities relevant again, the way by which they're doing so is absurdly shallow. And while yes, it does answer the resource issue that Bungie clearly has, it doesn't answer the player engagement issue, nor the player burnout issue. You can ask players to grind out old content for new loot. You might even get away with asking players to grind new content for old loot. But when you take players' gear away and tell them that in order to get it back, they have to grind old content for that old loot, well, then players start asking, why am I even playing this? It's a sort of content model that is completely unsustainable, and it speaks perhaps to a larger issue with Bungie's development pipeline. 
My money being that Destiny is not Bungie's top priority at this time. But moving forward, not everything in this TWAB was doom and gloom. Going into Season 13, Bungie has Season Pacified the Crucible, the Vanguard, and the Gambit Vendors. This is a great change and gives an additional avenue for players who don't want to grind Nightfalls all the time to get resources for their armor. And last but certainly not least, Bungie is nerfing the Hunter Shatter Dive. And honestly, I think it's going to be one of those things that we just have to wait and see with. As while Hunter Shatter Dive was certainly an issue, Stasis in and of itself is a bigger issue. And I don't know if this is going to make the Crucible all that much better. Stasis in and of itself needs an overhaul, not just a couple of the abilities. But hey, details. Anyways, ladies and gents, boys and girls, guardians of all ages, those are just my thoughts. Let me know yours in the comments below. Remember to like, but only if you did. Subscribe for more. Feel free to donate to my Patreon if you're feeling particularly generous. But above all else, stay frosty.